What is going on everyone? My name is VisionX and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to cable manage your gaming setup. Now a lot of people have requested this video so I'm hoping today in this video I'll be able to help you guys improve your cable management. So just a few things before we get started guys and number one that is to make sure you guys give yourself a couple of time in order to get this task done. It's not really a hard thing to do but you want to make sure you're not rushing it so you can get your cable management looking as good as possible. And number two guys is to always remember there's going to be a cable out there that you guys need. So if you guys need extensions or anything like that in general just always remember you can always go on Amazon and pick one up so with that being said guys let's get started with the video Okay guys, so what I have here is a bunch of equipment that you guys are gonna need in order to get this done. Now these are absolutely the best cable management equipments in my opinion, and I've used them for a very long time now and they just work so perfectly. So what I have here guys is actually a bunch of zip ties, and as you guys can see, they're in different colors, different sizes, and I absolutely just love this. Now this whole thing was about $20, it comes with a bunch of zip ties, and what I use the different colors for guys is to hold up different sets of wires. For example, you know, my power, my monitor power cables, I would just use for example blue to hold those up. So when Whenever I'm undoing the cable management, if I want to just quickly upgrade something, I could just cut that specific color and I know exactly what wires is going to come apart. So these are extremely useful in my opinion and the whole thing is for like 20 bucks. You know, I use them all the time and another couple of cool stuff I have here, you know, these are just some nice Velcro straps. These are absolutely amazing as well. They're very cheap as well. That's the thing with cable management gear. They're very cheap and they're just so useful in just improving your setup. So that's some uh, cable clips that I have here as well. These are absolutely amazing. You know, I have a bunch of different ones as you guys can see right here These are a bunch of different ones You also have this nice little one as well where you could just you know shove some wires through there Lock it up and that will hold those wires in place So my personal favorite out of this bunch guys is actually this little one right here Which you can use a zip tie to hold up your cable So this is my favorite guys because it simply holds a lot more cable So what you guys do is just stick a nice little zip tie through the hole and you just lock it up And that will actually make uh, the zip tie hold all the cables as you guys can can see right here so you can actually stuff a bunch of cables through that hole and it will not go anywhere it'll just stay in place wherever you guys stick it and obviously you can use a longer zip tie in order to hold a lot more cables so this is my personal favorite I'll be sure to link all of these in the description below so you guys can go pick them up I believe these just work so magnificent when it comes to doing cable management I also have a bunch of velcro straps right here guys now velcro straps are very amazing and just holding stuff up so if you guys have you know USB hubs or anything like that just go ahead and stick one of these on your USB hub Put it wherever you guys want to put it and that will just make it stay in place so these are the equipments that i use i will leave, link them in the description below so you guys can go check them out but yeah let's go ahead and move on with the video okay guys so the first thing i always start with when cable managing my setup is actually my monitors because i do feel like these are the most important part of the puzzle so if you guys take a look under my setup you'll actually see that power socket right there which i have nothing plugged into and that's simply because i wanted to go with a much wireless look so what i did was i rounded the cables off to the side all the way over here into a power socket behind my nightstand which is now being hidden by my nightstand so let me go ahead and show you guys how I did that so if you guys take a look behind my monitors you'll actually see this really huge power bank right here that's housing all of my power cables from my monitors my PC and a few other stuff so what I did was I went on Amazon and I picked up this really long power bank cable and I just kind of mounted it back behind my monitors and then I rounded the cable all the way off to the side all the way down there and plugged it into the power socket that's behind my nightstand so now I have a extension behind my monitors with about uh, 10 power sockets so I could just plug a lot of stuff in so that was really cool like I said guys a lot of cables aren't gonna read so you guys just want to go ahead and pick up extensions just kind of think about it you know just kind of envision how you want it and then just pick up cables that you know will work so like I said I then started to plug all my monitors in and another cool tip I have for you guys is to actually do stuff in segments so a lot of people when they're cable managing their setup guys they'll actually just connect everything and then try to bun bundle wires in places and it doesn't work like that you guys want to do it piece by piece so first I started with my monitors I plugged all of my monitor cables in and I cable managed those and then I moved on to my HDMI's and so on so the first thing I did like I said I plugged my monitors in and then I moved on over here to my PC and I started to plug all of my HDMI cables in and as you guys can see how many cables is being routed through this uh, channel raceway right here which I'm gonna tell you guys about right now and this thing is absolutely amazing because it opens up guys as you guys can see this thing opens up you just feed your cables into there and then you just close it back again and that is just absolutely amazing in my opinion so I have all of my HDMI cables running through that coming all the way over here and then being plugged up into my PC so like I said guys and that's probably the most important tip is to do stuff in segment and then you will get it done 
as good as possible. So let's move on. Okay guys, as for my console setup, you know, stuff was fairly similar. All I did was I connected the HDMI cables right there, as you can see, the power cable as well, and just kind of run them down through that channel raceway I have right there as well. And for the HDMIs for my consoles, I just kind of, you know, run them down through that one. And then I connected them all the way over to that one and plugged them both up into actually this nice little HDMI splitter that I have right here. Since my monitor only has one HDMI, I just kind of plugged them into the splitter right here and then plug that splitter into my monitor. So now I have both my consoles connected to this one monitor right here. So whenever I'm playing, I could just switch through HDMIs and play a different consoles. And the cool thing about this splitter is it actually comes with this nice little remote. So if I wanted to switch from Xbox to PlayStation, I just go ahead and push this button once the consoles are on and it will then start to switch to the HDMIs that I have plugged into it. So that was really cool as well. And as for this nice little RGB strip, this is just actually RGB strip that I ran all the way behind my consoles. I just kind of, you know, stuck it behind my consoles, you know, all the way over to the PlayStation as well. And then I did the same thing with the power cord for the, uh, you know, the RGB strip. I put it through the channel raceway all the way down over here. As you guys can see, there are some more channel raceways over there. And then those are being fed into a power socket that's all the way behind here, my desk. As you guys can see, the Alex drawer unit actually has a power strip behind it as well. So that's where I plug those cables in. And so whenever my PC is turned off, I still get power so from my Xboxes. So if I ever want to play my Xboxes, I don't have to have my PC turned off. And also when my PC turned off, these lights still stay on as well, which I can then con control with my Alexa and stuff like that. So everything was just really properly executed. I really love the way it turned out, like I said. And as for this, uh, my YouTube live sub count, as you guys can see, the cable is right there. I did the same thing, run it behind the PlayStation 4 down through the channel raceway and again into the socket uh, under there behind my Alex drawer. So that was really cool as well. And like I said, my PC wires are all connected to the socket back here as well. So that was really cool, really a nice way. And once you guys step out, you're unable to see any of those wires as well, like I said, guys. And another thing I wanted to show you guys is actually this really nice little thing under here. Like I said, guys, I did just routed it all the way over there and plug that straight up to the PC because this does connect via USB. So I didn't really have to plug it anywhere. So I just connect, kind of connected that to the PC to get so the PC gives it power so whenever my PC is on that will come on as well okay guys as for my speakers it did require its own power cord so I had to just run the cable down to this nice little channel raceway right here that I have again but like I said if you guys are planning to pick up channel raceway make sure you guys get these ones instead these are just so much better but I simply just run the cables through that nice little one right there I simply had this just because I wanted a bit smaller one and like you guys can see right here I do have a couple of stuff right here holding up my wires in place so those are these zip ties and zip cable clips that we were talking about earlier to hold those wires in place and then I just kind of plugged it all the way over here into this socket so as you guys can see this power socket it just plays a huge role in my setup and once you guys step back you are unable to see any of the wires that are plugged into there so it just gives for this nice wireless look so this speaker also needed to be connected to this one so I just rounded the cable the same way guys and connected it connected it through this through this one and then I just kind of use another one of those channel raceways to hide that cable as well so if I back up you guys are unable to see that cable as well and the same thing applies for my nano leaf panel guys which is why they look so wireless it actually has its own cable being hidden by the speakers and then down into the power strip so a lot of things comes into play when it comes to that power strip guys I absolutely love it so let me take you guys under my desk now for a second so let's go ahead and check that out okay guys so as for my keyboard and mouse I simply just drilled a hole in my desk to house all the cables so all the cables for my wireless charger my mouse and stuff like that it's just nicely going through this hole right here I know a lot of people don't like drilling holes in their desk uh, my other option would be to just nicely bundle all the cables together and run them across the desk right there but just make sure you keep everything everything together with cable clips and stuff like that so it looks really nice just going across the desk so if you guys come under my desk you'll actually see where all the cables come out right there and obviously all of these cables wasn't gonna go from right here and all the way up to my PC over there so how I fixed that was I simply Added, added a nice USB hub to my PC and then I just kind of got it all the way down here over here and behind my Alex drawer unit so as you guys can see right there that is a nice USB hub that's housing all of my uh, USB devices like my keyboard and mouse and stuff like that so what I did was I carried all these wires right here 
over there and then I simply just plug them into that USB hub which is then connected to my PC. So as you guys can see how I kept these cables neatly onto the desk like this was the cable clips that we were talking about earlier. So like I said really amazing stuff in order to keep cables together in one place. As you guys can see I have a lot of them coming into play right here. A lot of them just kind of you know making sure everything stays into one order and to go all the way over there into that usb hub so that was really clean as well like i said make sure you guys definitely check out all the cable management gear that i had in this video i believe they're just the best way you can go when trying to cable manage your setup so as you guys can see over here too with my headset stand i kind of did the same thing just rounded it off to the side using this nice little cable clip as well and then plugged in it plugged it in back there into another power socket that's actually behind right here as well so there's a lot of stuff comes into play when it comes to the cable management on this but you guys get the point you know like i said the most important tip i could give you guys is to actually do everything in segments try not to do everything at once and then cable management just do everything one by one that was the most important thing that really helped me when it comes to cable managing my setup so that is going to be it for this video guys let me know if you guys drop like the video make sure you drop a like if you do subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and i will catch you guys in my next video peace out